بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم We greet you with assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh on this the 17th day of Jumadi al-Akhirah and uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and this uh, video is to remind you uh, of the lecture that is scheduled to be delivered in London on uh, Sunday, Yawm al uh, on the 29th of January. And the topic of the lecture is the Quran and inflation. Inflation is a technical word and there are many who would not know what's the meaning of inflation. So let me explain that the market, when the market is a free and a fair market, prices will rise and prices will fall based on demand and supply. When demand increases over supply, the price will rise. And when supply increases over demand, then the price will fall. And, <coughs> excuse me, it is Allah who determines supplies. Allah can cause it to rise, Allah can cause it to fall. And so let me say it one more time, that a free and a fair market is one in which ri prices will constantly rise and fall based on demand and supply. However, we live in a strange and mysterious world today. For the economist who has graduated from the London School of Economics and other universities. Of course, this is not a strange and unusual world because he has, a, he has a PhD. But for the rest of us who are not economists, for us it is mysterious. Why is it that prices are only rising? constantly rising. It's not going up and down. It's only going up. Why? Like, you know, remember when I was five years of age, my, fa my father bought a motor car to take me to school. He was a school principal. And because he had the car, he started taking me to the market on Saturdays, Yom Musab. So at the age of five, I'm holding a little basket and I'm walking with my papa. And I saw him with these eyes. I saw him buy a hundred oranges for one dollar. I saw it with my own eyes. This was a wholesale price. And you didn't have plastic and, and um, bags made of uh, plastic in those days. You had uh, jute bags. Um, today, 70, 75 years later, you cannot buy even one orange with one, <laughs> one dollar. So is it that the, <laughs> the oranges have so improved in quality that the oranges are becoming more and more expensive? Or is it that the money is bogus and the money is fraudulent and the money is utterly haram and it is the money which is collapsing all the time? Which one is it? Of course, the professional economist, he has his own answers, but the rest of us who have some sense in our head, for us it's very easy to say it's the money which is falling in value. The money is bogus. Money does not have integrity. The professional economist, the monetary economist, he doesn't know what you mean by integrity in money. 
leave the monetary economics economy to go back to London and do his studies while the rest of us who have some sense in our head my language is harsh yes I know it the rest of us who have some sense in our head we say this money has no integrity and it is when money is only falling in value and prices are constantly rising that is inflation they can give another definition if they want because they have their PhDs but the rest of us who are not fools we know that inflation takes place when when prices are constantly rising because money is falling in value what is the cause for money falling in value that's a different answer we need another a subject for that but this is prohibited in the Quran Allah has prohibited you three times in the Quran Allah has prohibited inflation but the dollar alone will never tell you that because they don't know the subject this is our subject our lecture subject in London on the 29th of January and I want to put aside enough time in that lecture even if we have to go two or three hours let's talk let's discuss ask as any questions as you want okay even if the monetary economist wants to come welcome provided that you talk with some sense welcome and the quran is our guide on the 29th of january so please do come this might be my last lecture in london i don't know how long allah will keep me alive and i do want that we have a long long chat on this subject sisters i want to hear your voice as well because it's the woman who normally manages <laughs> the finances of the home okay so women know what's happening with the money falling in value and prices rising so do please come i want to enjoy your company the hall in london i believe can accommodate up to two three hundred people and we are charging a small registration fee to cover the cost of rental of the hall not to make money to cover the cost of rental of the hall and to cover the cost of employing people for security that's why we are charging i believe it's five pounds perhaps so I'm looking forward to uh, meeting with you uh, in London on the 29th of January. But now I have to warn you, it is possible that I may have to postpone travel. So do please stay tuned. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.